In this video, I wanna show you how to add a manager to a user YouTube channel. Formerly, you could only add managers and other roles to a brand channel, but YouTube's changed all that, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it. YouTube Simplified. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and it is my mission to simplify YouTube so you and I can grow together. This is a great new addition from YouTube. We're gonna jump right into it and show you exactly how you take care of this. Shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Here we go. All right, so this is super easy. Let me show you exactly where you go to add managers and other roles to your YouTube channel. Now, this is extremely helpful if you need to have somebody else come in and help manage your channel without having to hand over your Gmail login, uh, which obviously gives them access to other areas of the entire Google sphere that uh, you are fully integrated into at this point. So this will allow them just to get in and do stuff on your YouTube channel, which can be really helpful, especially as as we continue to scale and grow our business. So the first thing we wanna do is jump into YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio, of course, is the back end of the system where we get to see all our stats and things and know whether our videos have been successful or not. So in the lower left-hand corner, we have settings. We're gonna click on settings, and then that brings us into all the various channel. A lot of these uh, options were in, I think, the channel section on the old uh, Creator Studio, but I'm gonna show you exactly where to go here. You're gonna click on permissions, then you're going to manage permissions. And then you have the option to manage permissions. This is where you would go. Now, this happens to be a brand channel, so it might look a little bit different, but I'll also show you what a user channel looks like as well. So this is the brand version. Uh, you got the little icon here that says invite new users. You basically uh, enter their email address and send it. They'll get a link and then they can accept the link, etc. All right, so we're going to jump into my original user channel. So we'll go to switch account. We'll go all the way back to my original one. All right, so now that we're on the user account, formerly you could not add managers to these user accounts. Uh, make sure that we are in the user account and we're in YouTube Studio, which we are. Then we're gonna click on settings in the lower left-hand corner. Manage, yep, we're gonna click on permissions and you'll see that I am the owner and, uh, and then you're gonna click invite. Now, when you click invite, you're gonna add an email address just like you did on the brand channel, but you're also going to identify the access. You see we have the option to be a manager, which is basically all the functions that you might use on the back end. So you have the editor option where you can edit everything. You can't add or remove others, delete videos or the channel or enter into contracts. You have a view mode where people, you can see the behind the scenes stuff, but you can't edit it. And then you have the ability to see everything except revenue information. So depending on the particular role, maybe you're hiring an editor, or maybe you, you have a VA that you need to get access to some of the information on your channel. This is a great way to give them access. And now you don't have to go that extra step of either converting your channel to a brand channel, which can lose comments uh, in that process, to just simply adding them as an additional user on your original Google slash YouTube user account. Hey, I just wanted to jump in here with a quick caveat. Adding a manager to a user account through YouTube Studio and adding a manager through the normal process to a brand account are not the same thing. I've been testing this and working through it and it seems like the manager on a user account is only able to ac access things through YouTube Studio. That means where a manager would normally be able to go to the front end, i.e. look at the channel and change channel art and organize playlists, etc. that functionality does not seem to be present at this current time. So I just wanted to let you know there is a little bit of difference working with clients that have user accounts. I've tried to use this manager option on their accounts and that has certainly been a limitation for me that I can't get in. I can't affect their channel art. I can't go to the main YouTube page that is their channel and see the customized channel button to be able to get in and do those sorts of things. So I just wanted to let you know that they aren't quite equals, but if you do need somebody else to get to the back end, upload videos and that sort of thing, this may be an option for you. And hey, just a reminder, this video has been sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is your number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free. There's a link in the description below, or you can go to trytubebuddy.today and get started for free. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want to continue to learn the tips, tricks, and skills necessary to build a brand and grow a YouTube channel, be sure to click on the playlist up here for even more videos that can help you simplify YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.